like how do I get the 3d models in the background same process you find your 3d model your little your human being which is right here by poses again do not judge me when you guys see these poses this is for educational purposes only yeah just hurry up and zoom down to the bottom so you can see it okay so anyways you go ahead and just find the 3d model you want to use make sure your 3d model background is selected click drag and drop and boop it's there and you're like it's floating don't worry don't worry we'll push this little button it's not floating but it looks like it's floating but it's not floating it's right there but if you're like no i want it to look like on the ground i want his feet sunken in you can click this little button right here don't click that button you can click this little button right here and you can just bring it down you can move him around this button over here moves him in the perspective of the 3d model background but this button right here does not care about the perspective of the 3D model background. It'll move it to whatever desire you want. But that's how I get my 3D models within the scene. So let me undo so I can show you the 3D models that I already have in this scene. Undo. Undo. Uh, there we go. I go over here to my editing 3D camera. I click this little button right here. And I click this eyeball. And then I click that eyeball. And there are my 3D models. Now.